Today's verse is Acts 4.20, and it says, As for us, we can't stop speaking about what we have seen and heard. Acts 4.20. Now it's your turn to say it with me. Ready? As for us, we can't stop speaking about what we have seen and heard. Acts 4.20. That was good. Now I want you to say it really loud. Let's say it one more time. As for us, we can't stop speaking about what we have seen and heard. Acts 4.20. Today's Bible story and the, the scripture reading is about Peter and John. It is based on Acts chapter 4, verse 1 through 20. So let's hear about uh, what happened to Peter and John. Hi, this is Layla from Deep Blue News, and we're here in Deep Blue Shores, where a group of children from the church are helping the recent flood victims by putting together flood buckets. Let's talk to some of them. Hi there, Caleb. What are you doing exactly? We're putting supplies in the bucket so we can send them to people affected by the flood. Am I on TV? Hey, everybody! Ken, how are you helping today? I'm getting all the bugs free together for each bucket so we can make sure that families can keep yucky mosquitoes away. I'm in charge of rope. I'm getting the scouring pads together. Edgar, what makes you excited to participate in this project? Oh, that's easy. We're doing this because we're called to follow the example of Jesus who always helps people. Peter and John were making their way to the temple so they could pray. As they headed for the temple, there was a man who had never walked, being carried to the gates. The man was brought there every day so that he could ask for money. Peter and John noticed the man, and they told him that they didn't have any money to give him. But instead, they healed him in the name of Jesus. The man was healed, and he got up and started jumping up and down, praising God. The man followed Peter and John into the temple to worship. And everyone who saw the man was amazed. They knew that this man had never walked before. It was a miracle. The people ran up to Peter and John, wondering how this had happened. Peter asked, Why are you surprised by this? Don't you know that God sent us Jesus? Peter told them that the man was healed in Jesus' name. Then he told them to change their hearts and lives. The people in charge of the temple were upset that Peter and John were preaching about Jesus. But Peter and John weren't ever going to stop telling everyone about God's love. So, the people in charge threw them in jail. The leaders realized they couldn't keep Peter and John in jail, so they let them go. All right, everyone, this is the last flood bucket. I feel sad for the people that need them, but I'm glad we are able to do something to help. Now what? Now, these flood buckets will be loaded on a truck and sent out to the people in need. It is really going to help them. I hope they know how much we care. I know they will, Caleb. This is a very special thing you are doing. We want to be like Jesus and do what he wants us to do. Kids, are you ready to help me take these buckets out to the truck? Yeah! yeah. So now, I am going to read the Bible story that we have on our book. The disciples traveled to many places telling others the good news about Jesus' resurrection. They boldly shared the message, change your hearts and lives. lives. At the temple, 
Peter and John saw a man who had been lame all his life, over 40 years. The man asked for money, but instead of Peter healed him, the man stood. Then he began to praise God. Peter and John were talking to a crowd that included priests, guards, and Sadducees about the healing. They became very angry when Peter and John announced that Jesus had risen from the dead. They seized Peter and John and threw them in prison. The next day, some of the high leaders in Jerusalem asked Peter and John, By what power or in what name did you heal this man? Peter answered, We were were we arrested for doing something good for a sick person? If so, you need to know that this man stands before you because of the name of Jesus Christ, whom God, hate, had, whom, whom God raised from the dead. The council leaders were surprised by the confident way Peter and John spoke and they couldn't answer because the man who had been healed was standing with Peter and John. The council asked each other, what can we do with this man? So the council decided to warn Peter and John to stop teaching about Jesus and healing in his name. Peter and John responded, it's up to you to determine whether it's right before God to obey you rather than God. As for us, we can't stop speaking about what we have seen and heard. Because of the, the public support for Peter and John, they couldn't find a way to punish them. Everyone was praising God for what had happened. So the leaders released Peter and John they continued sharing the good news. So children, as you heard twice about the story of Peter and John, they were proclaiming that Jesus Christ was the risen Lord and in the name of Jesus, they healed a lame person who couldn't walk. And so um, helping sick people, helping hungry people, helping flooded people, helping others who, who are in needs are our services to God. We do that because God loved us, so we love God in return, and that's how we show our love to Jesus Christ and God through serving others. So as the DVD um, says at the end, so what are your services? So let's think about it this week and let's pray together. Dear God, show us how to serve you every day. Thank you for the examples of the disciples who served faithfully. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now is the time for our offering and prayer. So, uh, mom and dad are sending their offering to church. So, you may include your offering with theirs. And we are praying for the offering now. Dear God, thank you for our worship. We brought gifts to you. Bless them and accept them. May they be used in your good ministry. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now it's time for blessing. And today's blessing, I mean this week's blessing, is God made you to serve. So I am going to bless each and every one of you. Julia, God made you to serve. Emma, God made you to serve. Joel, God made you to serve. Mason, God made you to serve. Sophia, 
God made you to serve. Jaden, God made you to serve. Kelly, God made you to serve. Aaron, God made you to serve. Caden, God made you to serve. Elvin, God made you to serve. Faith, God made you to serve. Joyce, God made you to serve. And Edward, God made you to serve. And now we are going to pray our Lord's Prayer and that will conclude our worship today. So let's begin. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So, where's your children? This week, think about what are the ways that we can serve. Helping mom at home is one of ways also. Listening to others is one of ways also. Sharing toys, sharing games, um, calling friends are the ways that we serve also. So let's think about it. And um, this week I am going to call each of you and, and hear your voices. So um, I am asking your mom to give me a number that I can call you. So let's do that this week. I am excited to hear your voice. Okay, where's your children? Have a good day today and be good through this week and be safe. Okay, bless you.